Hello, and welcome to InterCeramics Natural Stone Launch Webinar for 2018 New Launch Series. My name is Marianne Cox, and I'm the Director of Marketing, and I'm here with the infamous Chris Burr, our Product Manager for our stone business. Hello, Chris. Hello, Marianne. Thank you for the very kind intro. I figured I'd say something nice. I appreciate that. Okay, so today we have a lot to talk to you about. We'll, we'll first start with our new launches, and Chris will walk you through each series, and then we'll talk about marketing support at the end. With that said, I will turn it over to Mr. Bird. This year's launch starts with a series called Vintage Leather. What Vintage Leather is, it's a 6 by 18 plank that was developed to um, really create a value to specific products that everybody knows. Um, these are products that you've seen before in marbles, limestones, travertines, um, but by creating a texture it really adds a certain depth to the stone that's just not really seen in the normal polished or honed finishes. Um, plus this uh, 6 by 18 size is very versatile, really allows for um, quite a few different design options. The first set of colors is the marbles. Um, we have polar gray and um, Astoria gray to uh, to show on the cool tones. You have a nice warm light um, gray with polar um, gray, and then you have Astoria gray, which is definitely darker. Um, I like to call it the gray light emperor. Um, and on the warm tones, you have crema marfil, um, everybody's favorite, and then also light emperor. Um, great thing about this series, and I'll definitely point to that, is that each one of these are it's not a standalone product. They all have quite a few um, different parts and pieces that either match or coordinate with them. Polar gray, I have to say, is my favorite one. Maybe a story is a close second. I would agree. Um, the cream martel is the one that everyone, everybody sees it, and they get a chance to touch it. It really brings new, in, uh, really brings new excitement to a color that everybody knows. Mm -hmm. The vein cuts are absolutely stunning. The Madeira white, how it takes that, uh, how it takes that leathering finish, that black, that depth that you get from that is spectacular. Um, and then Silver Waves is just like the Crim Marfil, it's just one of those products that when everybody sees it, they definitely want to go up and touch it. Um, these all coordinate with different parts and pieces in our Marble Mosaic offering. Does it, or can you tell us about how it coordinates with our Madeira White or Silver Waves? Sure. Madeira White looks absolutely spectacular with the contemporary blends. We've also, and we will get to that soon, actually has its own matching uh, mosaics and decoratives to go along with it. Uh, Madeira Black, um, really, Madeira Black and Silver Waves, really the ones that looks best with is either using um, one of the new introductions, um, another new introduction, or the um, ever popular Urban Blend mosaics. The limestones, it's really exciting to see how well these um, take that leather and finish. It just really adds some great depth to that, um, namely the tut pond, you know, because it has that shells, all those different shells and re uh, fossilized reeds in there. And when it really, um, when they leather over that, it really makes those just pop. Um, Mediterranean blue is very popular. It's definitely the, uh, the it's, it's our take on Blue Lagos, um, but Blue Lagos doesn't really take the leathering quite like Mediterranean Blue, much less does it actually create a significant value um, like this one does. It's beautiful. Thank you. Another favorite of mine. Absolutely. And these all coordinate quite well with the, uh, the last year's introduction of the suede limestone introductions. The travertines, once again speaking on value, we're trying to bring a, um, a product that is, you know, tends to be a luxury type product um, into a more attractive select or uh, premium pricing category. Desert Travonia really is a very special stone and for that stone they actually have a very special selection for that. So that 6x18 size really gets to capture the best of the best on it. Um, and for the silver vein cut, 12 by 24 is the size that most people are used to seeing that stone in. Um, I've seen it in a 6 by 24, um, but 
after that, there's really very little that's being done with that waste. So that six by 18 size um, is, is something the factory is very happy to do for us. So how would you say that they would coordinate, say, with the 12 by 24 honed and filled products? Or Sure. Well, we offer, all, we offer both um, products in the 12 by 24. Desert Travonia comes in a 12 by 24 as well as many other great products, um, a great mosaic and decorative offering. Um, the silver vein cut, it really just coordinates with the silver. I mean, it's the same stone, but it's not vein cut. Mm -hmm. Vintage leather, absolutely beautiful. Nice, kind of robust new offering. Absolutely. With this year's introductions, we also had to take a look at um, a lot of the marbles that we had in our offering. Um, a lot of the marbles that we have, have in our offering, um, some of them did not have a matching decorative. And it was very interesting how on certain products somebody needs something that doesn't so much coordinate, they're looking for matching as well. Um, a lot of the last year's introductions, we had noticed like when we had added a certain color, they're like, this is beautiful, now what do I use for the shower floor or what do I use for the niche or that one decorative area. Um, this is great because it really does solidify the offering of marbles as well as our um, dramatic marbles. In the dramatic marbles, namely the vein cuts, um, we've added a beautiful 4x12 um, size, which is very popular for wall um, applications. Um, for, the, um, for the mosaics, we chose um, a split hex, um, which really lends itself to the vein cut. Um, what you can imagine if this was a normal hexagon mosaic, if there was like a vein cut that was happened to be four or five pieces in a row without being uh, random, I can imagine the cuts were not being you know, happy about that. There was, it would just be detracting, but the split hex really lends itself to that. Um, we also thought about doing something square because you know, there's a lot of people who just need a standard square look, um, but we didn't want to go really square. We wanted to go neo square. Um, two by two, two by two and a quarter is actually a fantastic size where it's large enough to allow the, uh, the vein cut to, uh, to be shown. Um, but it's also, you know, small enough to where some people can use that as accents as well as a shower floor. Um, the Bardeglio Nuvolato, um, is in, we're introducing that in a one by one, as well as a two by two hexagon polished mosaic. Absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think that's a better way to say it. Um, the 4 by 12 is available. They all also do have a matching 3 quarter inch cigar. Same thing with the other Cool Tones mosaics. You know, there's, you know, White Thassos is very popular. People are looking for that pure, clean, white. Um, but they need something that is going to be, you know, maybe wall, closer to a wall tile size. You know, I get asked quite a bit for um, a 3x6 or something rectangular for a wall application. So this one definitely needed that. Um, same thing with Snow Frost, as well as all of them. You know, the Empress Black is that beautiful. It would really be the decoratives that go with the uh, vintage Madeira Black. Um, these are going to be available in a one by one square as well as a two by two hex mosaic, four by 12 and three quarter inch by 12 inch cigar. We really needed to take a look at our offering for the Turkish travertines. Um, we've had the program that was tumbled for quite a long time. Um, it really needed an update. It really needed to be freshened to where we're more on trend, more sleek, as I've heard a lot of people call it. It's not the color that's turning people off to the uh, Turkish um, to the Turkish travertines. They're just we're seeing more um, younger people looking for sleeker looks that are more contemporary. So we've actually created a package to go along with all of our Turkish travertines that are going to be concise. Um, on trend and really absolutely show the products off quite beautifully. You have your standard two by two hex 
honed and filled to go along with the two inch um, tumbled um, as well, um, but a hexagon mosaic in all, in all the different colors we offer. Um, herringbone mosaics are very, very popular. You know, you turn on HGTV, I'm sure you see herringbones being installed day in and day out. Also, Pickett's is a absolutely spectacular design that um, generally up until now has only been seen in much higher end type products. So adding that to our Turkish travertine line really makes it look more contemporary. The 4x12 size has been exceptionally well received. Um, there's also this matching uh, chair rail as well as bull nose. The pickets are going to be pretty um, amazing. That room scene there that you can see in the bathroom. Oh, with the La Travonia. Beautiful. Absolutely. I've already gotten a lot of uh, feedback on that one. Yeah. Same thing with that silver, yeah. the silver herringbone. Silver is my favorite. I know. You said that You hear that sometimes. a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, same thing with the Mexican travertine. We really need to take a look at that offering. There was a lot of parts and pieces to that uh, that just weren't really selling all that well. Um, we needed to keep with having the comprehensive program, but it just needed to be more concise and really updated um, with more uh, contemporary looks. The program that we developed is going to be very close to that of the uh, Turkish travertines, meaning that it is concise throughout the colors, um, but it's different in a few ways. Um, it doesn't have the, um, the, I'm sorry, it doesn't have a pickets mosaic. Instead of the pickets, we added the one by one and a quarter high-low mosaic, which has been very popular with um, the suede limestones as well as the marble mosaics. Um, we also added a four by four honed and filled. There are people who just need a square product. They just ask for that. Um, the great thing with the Mexican travertine is not only is it concise as well as comprehensive, but you have a great offering of different trim pieces, five in total, that uh, match with the program. Perfect. Ledger panels for us are very popular. We do, we've always done such a great job with that, um, but up until now, our program has been very commodity driven. It's just, people are using them day in and day out, but that's just the same things that you may see elsewhere. Um, we've done a better job, we've done a great job by having great quality, a great pricing on this, on that product, but what we really needed was some great new looks to really stand out. Um, because people are using ledger panels in pretty much every market I've ever been to, inside as well as outside. Fireplaces, outside kitchens, people are using that. Um, but everybody has a different idea of what tones they would like to see. We've added five great new colors. Um, my favorite of this one, personal favorite, is the alabaster quartzite. It's just because it's that perfect warm white that is just so on trend. Um, you know, people are, love the cooler whites, but something that's warm white is really going to help separate um, our product offering versus a lot of other ones. Desert Sunset, this one's got some interesting feedback, um, but the really the, the idea behind this and the inspiration behind this one was to um, be a replacement for a lot of that chop block that a lot of the builders are putting into these new homes. Um, timber quartzite, um, when you see this product, it really um, has a lot of depth to it. It's got a vein cut quartzite feel to it. Um, and what's really amazing about this is how well it coordinates with so many of this year's um, great new introductions on the tile side. Um, rustic blend, um, what we really like about this is two things. The colors are slightly different than what you're used to with the California gold. It adds a a better gold to it. It actually adds a whitish gray to it, which you don't see with the California gold. Mm -hmm. um, but what I really like on that is this will be very aggressively priced. This is going to be that product where we can, um, you should have no problems competing with anybody. Um, and then we did add one marble, Madeira White. This is really a 3D honed. Um, we'll have three different thicknesses done randomly. 1 cm, 1.2 cm, and 1.5 cm. So it really has a, an amazing look when it's actually installed on a wall and, and it's lighted. 
The great thing about all of our ledger panels, they all come with matching corner pieces. That's a bonus. Absolutely. We also took a look at our offering of River Rocks. There was a lot of parts and pieces that we had in this offering that were that did very well, but they really didn't uh, bring the outdoors in. It didn't really um, go with a lot of the products that people are using day in and day out. Um, so we wanted to really add some great new looks by doing some marble looks. These are sliced and they are polished. So they really go with the most popular trends um, as well as colors that are being used. Um, it's also a bonus that you get to that these are mesh mounted and they're quite easy to install. These are all marbles. We actually started with um, White Carrera, um, which is very popular in all markets. Cream of Marfil, which is always very popular. Um, it's very interesting as White Carrera would be number one, but Cream of Marfil is always number two to us. Uh, contemporary blend and urban blend, um, those are quite popular. We sell those blends and other mosaics day in and day out. Uh, contemporary blend because it goes, it coordinates with so many different, uh, so, so many of different marbles, um, so many of the different um, trends that are out there. Also, urban blend is very popular because we've noticed in a lot of markets where black is actually making um, and becoming an accent piece again. They all come on a 12 by 12 mesh mosaic. The last part of this year's introductions is thin mosaics. Um, this was developed to be a value proposition for um, for a backsplash options where somebody needs to where price and ease of install is equally important. Um, where we've seen is where customers are looking for something groutless. Not only does that save them um, money from not having to buy the grout, but it also saves them time. They can actually install this quite a bit better. Um, we chose a lot of great, we, uh, we chose a lot of great colors um, that really, that are really on trend. Um, we have three different colorations, contemporary, natural, and urban. Um, and within that we have style and essentials. What separates style from essentials is style is going to have an upgraded textured glass as well as a, um, a brushed metal look to it. Um, as well as essentials is just glass and stone together. Um, these have been very, very well received. Um, just the colorations are very on trend. Um, the price points on this have actually also been quite well received as well. These are all nominally 12 by 12 mosaics. Okay, Chris, thanks so much for um, that awesome review of the new launches. A lot going on in stone, and we want to talk about the marketing support now for the 2018 um, Natural Stone launch. And because it is quite a extensive introduction um, with a lot of parts and pieces changing up, and that's one of the benefits to stone, right, Chris? That's right. We, we tease him all the time because he, he never just drops something and introduces a whole new package. He, he likes, to, he likes to drive marketing crazy and just drop a few pieces here and add a few pieces there. One of my many talents. One of his many talents. So what that means from a marketing perspective is if we were truly to update every board that either had a drop or an ad, we would probably have had to update the majority of the stone boards. So we took a different approach this year and we're going to review it by series, but either each series will get a brand new sample board or they'll get a drop label. Um, with complete instructions that we'll talk about. But what we did is we took a look at the sample board and said roughly if more than 50% of what you see on the front of that board is dropped, we'll completely redo the board. If not, we're going to give you labels to put on the drop pieces. So, for example, vintage leather obviously is very new, so you're going to see two new boards, uh, one for the marble and marble link cut and one with limestone and travertine. For the ledger panels, um, we'll have two new boards that'll take us up to four total boards um, in the displays for ledger panels. However, this is where it's going to get a little different. 
um, well, actually, I apologize. It's in a second. But the marble mosaics, the dramatic and basic coordinates, both boards will have a brand new board to replace the one in the displays. But this is where it gets a little different. For Mexican travertine, for your chocolate and your cream and imperial boards, they will get replaced with brand new boards. However, when it comes to caramel, we're going to provide instructions to put drop labels and a new back label on the back of the sample board. And the same goes with Turkish travertine. Classic La Travonia and Silver will all get replacement boards completely, while Desert Travonia, Autumn Leaves, and Noche Toros will have the drop label instructions. So we'll also replace River Rocks because the existing um, rounded collection uh, will now, that board will now include all of that, all of the River Rocks, including the new sliced. Marble, all of the, the, the board that shows the entire color, the warm and the cool will get a drop label um, pack out. Natural slate, the same thing. It will be the existing boards with instructions for the drop labels. Um, just to point out thin mosaics, we are not introducing um, in the collated kit, although you see it here, just wanted to point out that it is more of a um, kind of a specialty item that will not go in the display, so you don't see that, you see that it gets neither a sample board or a drop label. Um, but finally, um, we are introducing a travertine bath fixture board. So. All of those bath, bath fixtures that we show online in our catalog, you'll now be able to showcase on a sample board in the display or if any of your customers need it without a display. So what you'll get is a label placement instructions in the pack out that goes along, that will be included with all the new boards. So you'll have specific instructions that will say, on this board, for example, this is the Mexican Travertine, Travertino Caramel board. It's going to tell you exactly where to put the, discontin the discontinued label. And then on the back of the board, it's going to provide you a full label to place over top so that it takes into account, depending on the board, any ads or, or drops. So there will be very detailed instructions in the, in the collated launch kit. And we will also inventory the discontinued label separately should you run out and need more for any other situation. And our launch kits are going to be available on February 15th. In addition to the collated kits, we will, of course, offer individual sample boards, which will be available February 19th. We'll have design boards for each series available February 23rd. And then new is a postcard which will replace our existing individual brochure, and they will be available on February 5th. Um, our new catalog um, will also include these launches, and we're printing these now. Um, the, the tile and stone sections um, of the catalog are now, um, the, I'm sorry, the tile section is, is divided up by look. So that's just something to keep in mind as you use the catalog, and we talked about it in our tile launch um, webinars. Um, so each look is now alphabetized within the catalog. All the newest introductions for Tyler are located in the front of that section, and the remaining series are now within each section are also alphabetized now. Uh, be sure to use a table of contents or the index for both tile and stone. They'll give you easy reference for how to find a specific series. And also be sure to check out the Innoceramic Lookbook for Inspiration by Room. Um, we include both tile and stone room scenes or photography in that area as well. And are available, the catalog will be available on February 5th. So I just wanted to point out the benefits um, of innerceramic.com as well. So it's your go-to place for all information on innerceramic products. You can learn about door body from you know our on the tile side. You can search products, tile and stone, and you can get all the information that you need from them. You can search our gallery and see inspiration by room or by market segment, whether it be a residential bathroom or a commercial um, retail space. Um, you can download all of our literature, including the full line catalog. And then um, we, we encourage you to use my favorites. You can easily create job spec sheets um, using my favorites. And we'll have a tutorial coming soon on how to use that area. 
The series page is also very important for you. Um, uh, you can get a summary of all of the information of each series. You can download catalogs, brochures, technical data, etc. A separate tab will call out floor, floor decorative, trim for each series, even if there's floor and wall tile combinations. Collection of room scenes will be available for more inspiration, and as we create new, we'll continue to add. And then finally, as you click on each um, swatch, you'll be able to, a new window will open where you can magnify and download high resolution images. Just be a reminder, you need to have an account on innerstramic.com and be signed in in order to download high res images. Finally, um, be sure to follow us on social media, all of our channels, and we'll keep you up to date on trends, new products, live installations, and much, much more. With that said, thank you for your time today. Thank you. And thank you, Chris. Thank you, man. As well. Have a great day.